Hello, my name is Sonia Paul, the recently appointed Women's Ministry Director for South Central Conference. I count it a privilege and an honor to have been chosen at this particular time in Earth's history. What an honor of trust God has bestowed on me to lead the women of South Central Conference at this time. It is my prayer that God's Spirit will be poured out on His servants as we hasten His soon coming. With this in mind, I would like to cast my vision for the women's ministries of South Central Conference. Our purpose statement, the Women's Ministries Department for the South Central Conference exists to provide, number one, spiritual leadership, number two, training and development, and then number three, resources to the women's ministry leaders of the local churches. In addition, the church needs to ensure that it provides a rich, spirit-filled environment that encourages women to use their talents and more precisely, their spiritual gifts, which is given for the purpose of building God's kingdom. Our motto is, women, only what you do for Christ will last. Our objectives, we all know what acronyms are. So to help us remember our objectives, we have created the acronym DREAMS. D, discipling, R, reclaiming, E, evangelizing, A, affirming, M, mentoring, S, servant leading, dreams. Our number one goal for discipleship is to promote the Gospel Commission of making disciples through Bible studies. Our strategy is to provide resource materials for weekly Bible study in homes or in our churches. Goal number two, reclamation to reclaim missing members and to bring them back into church fellowship. Our strategy, develop a contact plan through phone, cards, emails, visitations, and then schedule a specific day for a welcome home event. Goal number three, evangelism to preach the good news of the kingdom of God throughout the South Central Conference. Our strategy is to establish an evangelism campaign in each territory through local churches to hold Re revelation seminars. We're to train women as evangelists. Goal number four, affirmation to affirm women through fellowship, recognition, and acknowledgement. Strategy to celebrate women's ministry leaders annually during camp meeting by hosting a recognition luncheon each year. Goal number five, mentoring. To provide mentoring to women of all ages according to the Titus II principle. Our strategy to develop a conference-wide mentoring leadership program for seniors and young adults, young adults and teens, and then host a Titus II banquet. Goal number six, servant leadership. To choose leaders on the basis of their commitment to serve and provide training. Our priorities is to work with the South Central Conference Communications Department to design and maintain a resourceful and informative website which provides virtual training for new leaders and fresh ideas for experienced leaders. A major concern has been the need for unity. By setting overall goals, there must be a plan to achieve them and that then focuses on our priorities. We must also consider what actions are needed to accomplish these goals, and then we must consider how we can measure the outcomes of our objectives. Did we accomplish all that we set out to do? Are the end results measurable? Are they quantifiable? 
My vision for the South Central Conference Women's Ministries exists for the purpose of helping women to grow in their knowledge of scripture by forming small Bible study groups in the home setting or in the church. Another vision is to acquaint and familiarize women to discover and utilize their spiritual gifts in service to the church and their community. By training the women's ministry how to administer the spiritual gifts inventory, they will be capable of returning to their home churches and conducting the inventory on their own members. My third vision for the Women of South Central Conference is to provide them with networking opportunities from others through regional retreats, leadership events, seminars, and workshops. Well, that's my vision for women's ministries. It is my prayer that we will indeed become unified throughout the territories as well as the conference setting. I am open to your comments and your suggestions. Let's work together in the spirit of Christianity to hasten our Lord's coming. Please feel free to contact me at the South Central Conference office at this email, sonia.paul at scc-adventist. God's blessings on each and every one of you, and thank you for your willingness to serve our church. <laughs>